Welcome back to the channel. Today I will show you how I upgraded my workbench. I started off placing a T-Track into the workbench. I did not want to have it all the way, leaving space for further upgrades. I marked where I wanted to place it, then I routed out this area. I set the depth of the router bit to the depth of the T-Track, so it will be flush with the surface of the workbench. Since it's MDF, I was able to remove the rest of the material with the help of a chisel easily. After this, I sent it out 1mm from the measure tape, so it will be also flush with the surface. Now I could screw the T-Track onto the bench. I measured the distance between the blade and the starting point of the T-Track and I cut the measure tape at this point. Then I glued the measure tape to the bench. It reads from right to left, I will leave the link to this in the description below. I cut off the end and made sure to soften the sharp edges with rasp and sandpaper. With that done, I started to make the stop block out of 1x1 pine timber. Since my T-Track is shorter than the workbench, I made the stop block longer so it can reach the end of the bench. I drilled two holes for the T-Track nuts. Then I made the actual stuff from two pieces of wood using wood glue. The T-nuts can move freely under the stop block. I had to come up with a solution for them to stay inside the track, so I cut and glued few pieces of plywood underneath that can fit into the T-track. Then on both ends, I place the threaded insert for the stop block, so I can make shorter cuts on the opposite side where the mitre saw is. I made sure it's square and everything aligned perfectly, and it was time for a test cut. The cut was half millimeter off, that was good enough for me. My shed's walls are made out of plastic. It means I'm very short on usable space, so I decided to add another shelf under the workbench to be able to organize things a little bit better. First, I cut two legs and screw them to the bench on top of the lower shelf. Then I connected them with another one, this will work as a support for the shelf. I had some leftover MDF in the workshop. It's slightly shorter than my lower shelf, but I'm okay with that. Using my corner clamps, I pre-drilled holes for the screws to avoid any splitting. MDF can split very easily without pilot holes. Before I screw them together, I applied wood glue to secure the joint. After that, I made some extra support for keeping it square and sturdy.
With that done, I just had to place the shelf under the workbench and secure it on both sides with screws. If you like the content, please subscribe to the channel and hit the bell notification to get notified when we upload a new video. Hit the like button and share the video to help the channel grow. As always, thank you for watching and see you in the next one.